Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you three tips which could be very useful for you if you are playing with OpenAI Playground. So let's jump on to the portal. Uh, let, for that, you have to go to openai.com, click on API, and then you need to log in if you have not already logged in. So click on this login. And you can choose uh, your login preference. So then you need to go to playground. And on the playground, you can see that there is an area where we are going to provide our prompt. So the very first tip here is how to give clear and precise tagline or the prompt for the open AI. So let's say I'm giving given a title, please generate three relevant hashtags so this is very simple and what i'm trying to do here is whenever i'm giving a title i want three hashtags which are very much related to that so one way of doing that is you can repeat the same line every time whenever you want hashtags along with your details or the text so that thing I'm not going to do because that is not the clear and the concise way. Rather, this is the way which I'm going to opt. And here I have already defined, given a title, please generate three relevant hashtags. Now, the only thing which we need to do is we need to define the title. So, top five places to visit in USA. So, this is my title and I'm expecting three hashtags for this so before that let me reduce the length here i will just keep it to 119 click on submit and you can see that three hashtags are given here now i want to perform the same activity again but this time it's a different title so rather than repeating the same thing again and again i will just provide my title and everything be will be taken care of by this very first line now let me give here Mm, top 10 adventures let's say click on submit and it has changed this text so if you want you can go ahead and remove it and update it so next time whenever you are trying the similar thing it will not append this for you but the idea here is how you can make or train the system so that you get the relevant response so this is my first tip second thing is you want to perform various actions or experiments on different different fields so this is my one thing hashtags now tomorrow if i'm coming back i want to try similar kind of thing or i want to continue working on this so in that case what we need to do we can save this so you need to give some name so i will just say my hashtags description is completely optional so i will skip it and once you have saved you can see that it is appearing here as a preset so you can definitely jump here and there and come on to that and even after coming here if I'm giving my title top 10 let's say foods and it will still go ahead and give you hashtag so it means you need not to set the context every time you are coming on to this okay moving on to my third tip so before that, I will go ahead and delete this preset because I don't want this. Okay. Now, let's say uh, you are generating some text which is kind of very long and suddenly you realize that, no, I don't want to continue with it. So how can you stop that? So that's all about my third tip. Uh, let me write something. Mm, get me. Uh, get me 50. Must see. places on earth press enter and again i will reduce this length and let's and before that you can see on the right hand side there is something called stop sequences so the stop sequences is that magic which will stop generating new tokens and the response for us so let's say i want my sequence to be double dollars so whenever I'm giving double dollar, just stop the response and do not generate anything more after that. So this is what uh, this stop sequence is. Click on submit and you can see that it has started generating 
some places so let it go let it go i still want to do and suddenly when i don't want more places i will go ahead and just press my uh, double dollar and it will stop then and there itself so i still want it to stop here so do this and enter so you can see that after 14 no more places are generated although we have given 50 as our expected results so this is what your stop sequences will help you so i hope you enjoyed these three tips and thanks for watching.